What's up, Vex fam? Razor here, and today I am going to give you my first impressions of Call of Duty Black Ops. So let's get right into it. Guys, let me just say this to start off with. I love this game. Um, it feels very much like Black Ops 2 in the sense of the gun and the they fire and just the, the way that they the way that they operate. Um, it's just slightly faster with a little bit of AW mixed with it. But they have taken the good parts of AW and uh and mixed it in. And they made this class warfare that really I think is gonna change the game. Um, especially with uh bands and things like that going into the esports side of the uh, of the game. Really, really, really excited. Um, I've been non-stop playing it since I've got it, and I'm just taking the time to sit down and record some footage and bring you this video so I can give you my first impressions. So I'm going to talk about what I've done so far in the game, and I really haven't even scratched the entire surface of the game. I've just kind of been staying in my little one dimension. I'm more of an AR sub guy, um, so that's what I've been running around with. And uh, a couple of the ARs that I've been playing with, obviously, you start off with the Arc 7. Um, and I played around with that one for a little while until I leveled up. And uh, then I moved on to the HVK 30. And I'm really enjoying the HVK 30. It's got a much slower fire rate, but higher damage and less recoil. So you don't have to dump so many bullets into these people when they're running around. Um, I enjoy it very thoroughly. I use a forward grip, a quick sight, uh, a quick draw grip, and, uh, and a red dot sight. And uh, I'm, I'm loving that gun. Um, when I play with the subs, uh, you obviously start off with the CUDA, which I enjoyed uh, a lot. And then I unlocked the Razorback. Um, had to, you know, Razor with the Razorback. Um, really enjoying the Razorback too. Fires really, really fast. It's got good accuracy with a lot less recoil than you would imagine for a gun that fires that quick. Um, very, very much like it. Um, the two main classes that I've been playing have been Prophet and Overwatch. Obviously, shout out to my boy Prophet. Had to roll with the Prophet right, right off the get go. Um, so he has two abilities that you can um, choose from. One is a blink ability, which teleports you to a previous location that you were at. Basically, if you're in a gunfight that you're gonna lose, or say you get the first kill, but there's one behind him and you took some damage, you can blink out of there and teleport yourself to a safer location that maybe is further away from that guy. Um, the other one is um, basically a, like a lightning gun. Um, so it's a one-shot kill, and it does an area of effect on the body that you shoot, so that if anybody else, an enemy comes into contact with them, they will get damaged by the area of effect and into explode in a flash of lightning. Um, the bodies explode. It is actually really, really cool. Um, I, I definitely dig the lightning gun. Um, I've got some really nice quad kills with that thing when you just get them in close quarters and you shoot that first person and they all run in front of it or on top of that body. Uh, it's 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 a beautiful sight. Um, and the other one is Overwatch. She has I don't know what her second I cannot remember what her second ability is to be honest with you, but her uh, her primary ability is the uh, is basically a torque bow from Gears of War. It's a shock bow. Um, you shoot them with the bow and they explode. They also fly back. Um, so it's like a knockback, it pushes them away. I'm understanding that you can definitely push that person into another person as long as they're within that distance and get a double kill or a triple or a quad or a collateral or whatever you want to call it um, with that one shot. So I have not yet done that with the bow. Um, something that I'm definitely working towards though, I'll tell you that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing. Those are the, those are the things that I've hit on. Um, like I said, I really, really, really like this game. It's, uh, it's a little bit slower than AW, but a little bit faster than Black Ops 2. Um, I think that they found a great mix. Um, really, really, really can't wait to get more. Um, I will be doing a second impressions video, kind of going into more detail about everything that I've learned during the course of the Black Ops beta, um, so that I can keep you guys informed and, and give you my impressions of exactly what is going to be competitive and what's not going to be competitive. So give me a little bit to get on that. I am taking notes and, and, and getting footage and making sure that I'm going to do this right so I can give you guys the best information possible. But I just want to let you guys know, so far, I give this game a 10 out of 10. Um, I'm all about the multiplayer, and I really, really, really 
enjoy the story part of these kinds of games. But I'm all about the multiplayer, and if you're looking for a multiplayer Call of Duty and, and Advanced Warfare didn't do it for you, this game is going to be the one. I'm telling you right now, Treyarch has definitely hit the nail on the head with this one. Win for so I'm pretty, pretty excited. Cannot wait for the game to launch. Um, November, guys. Boom. Uh, I think it opens up for beta for everybody um, on the 25th. So hopefully I will see you guys in there, and we can kick some ass together. See you later, guys. Have a good one.